Yo, 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 what up, everybody? Welcome to Mario Esco Live. I am your host, Mario Esco, and alongside me is my good friend, co-host, Kill Vargas. Ladies yo, and gentlemen. What up, what up? Why do you always have to say my name like a robot? He? Cool. Uh, okay. Because I just got to get into the rhythm and the groove, bro. That's just uh, how I mentally get into my space, man. My wow, you my co-host, bro. My bad. I just didn't expect you. <laughs> you my co man. Hey, oh. man. Calling out my warm-up. Calling out my warm-up. We got a special guest in the building today. Uh, I'll announce him in a few. But first, shout out to our partners and our peoples, our family, our familia, GH3 Radio. Let me put the real. All right, here we go. 520 Radio. God's Music Radio. The Bridge Radio. Shout out to our YouTube subscribers. Be sure to go and uh, subscribe to our YouTube, please. Uh, for those that are jumping in the live, it looks like that. The logo. You see it right like there. That. Subscribe. Hit the little bell. Do all that good stuff. You know what they say. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Facebook, Twitch, mm. Periscope. You're on a shame network audience. Got to find a podcast at Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out our website, d2lproductions.com. We got some merch available there. Uh, check out our blogs there. Join the email list. Be sure to share the show as you guys jump in. I'll do my best to follow along with the comments. Like I said, subscribe to the, our, our YouTube channel. We're trying to grow that out as well. Follow me live picks, M E live picks on Spotify. We rotate that weekly. With yeah. our two featured tracks of the previous episode, and we decided that we're going to stick with 20 maximum tracks, yeah. and we'll rotate between those. And of course, you know, I'm a little biased with it, so you might hear I'm one of my tracks, biased. you know. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you, you, might, you might hear Feeling Like Grass. That would be very, you know? um, that's uh, what I'm looking for, um, unfortunately. You know? Leave a review for my podcasters. Recap last episode. Up next, Chupacabra. <laughs> we had Stephen the Levite join us to clarify his statement on CHH. Uh, the... uh, he said, uh, CHH has been colonized. It was dope to chop it up with him. We shared one of his uh, singles, Strange Fruit. We talked about Timothy Brindle chiming in on systematic racism and all the controversy that stirred up. Which, by the way, uh, keep us lifted. I did speak with Timothy Brindle. We had a, a phone call conversation. It was, it was dope, man. I love that brother and his ministry. Uh, keep him lifted. So he will be on the show, I, I think, next week. But I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. But he will be yeah. on the show sometime soon. Next week, yeah. We talked about Wande making a, a point. Does she make a point about Christian business versus Christian principles? What's the difference? You know, and kind of work through that. And we talked about the Pentagon having off-world vehicles not made of this earth. And then finding the firmament somehow. But <laughs> so so yeah, uh if any of that interests you, Yo, go check every out week, our the recast episode. Up, like we really talked about all that. Yeah. <laughs> now our special guest is like, all right, I'm gonna come on, it's gonna be the tone. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, man. Somehow there's a dial tone and then we're yeah, where'd in he go? the twenty first, you know what I mean? Twenty twenty. <laughs> Somehow so, ladies time. and gentlemen, yes, we're going to get right to it. Introducing our special guest. Let's get the hand claps going. Let's do this right. Do the long claps. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Christian hip hop artist out of Texas has worked alongside Dre Murray, Corey Paul, Dayton V Rose, and many others. He's been putting work in the game for almost 10 years. You might know him from his most recent project, Just the Two of Us, and his previous project, Family Business, that he put out with True Breed Records. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian.
Craig James, a.k.a. Five, is in the building with us. What up, brother? What's going on, man? It's an honor to have you in the building, bro. Going down, man. I'm honored to be here, man. Appreciate you guys reaching out, man. You know, I've known Gil for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, he reached out. It was a no-brainer, man. Uh, love this dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to be a part of it, man. How no, that's doing? dope. I'm glad that you stressed that the relationship that you had with the show was with Gil. <laughs> <laughs> and not the wild man behind, <laughs> behind I, I, I make sure it's clear I don't like, know look, look, I, I know Gil this dude right here <laughs> this man at all I, I'm playing brother man I'm playing uh, Gil, Gil has asked, has mentioned um, Gil is a first of all Gil is a really really close dear personal friend of mine real talk he's walked with me before Christ um, and now he's walking with me in Christ and so, you know, what he says, it's like, you know, it, that's that's a brother. That's my dude. Like, if he's cool with somebody, then I know I'm cool with that person as well. That's how it works. Yeah. So his his love is my extension of my love as well, brother. So it's an honor to have you with us. Yeah, yeah, likewise. Honor to be here, man. So, brother, before we even jump into anything, man, how's life in ministry during this madness going on right now? <laughs> Before we, let me check how, where you at. Let me see. Let me check the temperature, your spirit, your mind. What's good, brother? Are you, you, you hanging in there, bro? I'm definitely hanging in there, man. You know, it, you know, a lot of people look at, you know, what's been going on as a, you know, bad thing 2020. For me, it's a blessing, man. I, I've been able to spend a lot of time with my family, man, and my son, my wife. You know what I'm saying? We've been able to go on little little trips together, weekend getaways. It just, where? you know what I'm saying? Everywhere is closed. There's you gotta, you gotta give up the spots, bro. One place <laughs> open and most folk gonna say I'm crazy for it, but listen, I'm a foodie. You know what I'm saying? So Vegas has been open, man. I, I live in- <laughs> they never close. They, it, it man, I, probably for like a week or so, but and that's it. They went right back to business. Yo, I Las Vegas like, don't nah. play. Yeah, so so we we've been out there probably three times this summer, man, just because it's open, man. I love food, and if. If you if you like food like I like food, anybody, <laughs> you're gonna take a flight. <laughs> yo, no trust, bro. Anybody, I, that, anybody that has a cooking TV show, I or, know. Or, That's what I was just about to talk yeah. about. Yeah, you know what That's what I was just about to like, say. So, Me and my wife are vivid, very avid food network watchers. Like, yo, we watch everybody. <laughs> and the, all the chefs, all they that's all they talk about. They say if you want the best food in the world. You got to go to Vegas because, mm, bro, and, and the, thing, the reason the why cooks. is because they have the top chefs from all over, over the, the world, world in oh, one whoo, spot. Oh my goodness. So you got How the is best. That possible? So you have the best of France. You got the best of Brazil. Oh, so that's what you, you did. You got the best so of you took, Mexico. You took a flight. You got the best of to like each yo. individual restaurant in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a round trip to each one yo, every day of the week. Bro, man, Mom, like, that yo, Christian hip hop money is popping, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. Hey, that ministry I is wish. flourishing. <laughs> I wish, but God is good, man. God be yeah. good to me and my family, man. And so, uh, but like I said, man, it's been a blessing, man, because, you know, uh, I've been doing full time ministry for 10 years, man. And so, so, congrats. Let me do some hand class. I know you can't hear it. The audience can hear it. That's dope, bro. That's good, man. It's I, always I encouraging it. to hear that, bro. I want, I want to hear more of that story, but go ahead, brother. Yeah, so, you know, I'm always gone, man. I'm on the road so much, you know what I'm saying, and uh, just sharing the gospel, trying to be faithful to the calling, man. God told me to go to share my story, man. So, you know, uh, for 10 years, man, I've just been going, going, going. So when this hit, I had already took uh, January and February off this year because I was like, man, I'm tired. I need to just rest. So I took those two months off deliberately, didn't book anything. And so I ended up booking a tour for March, a 15 day tour. And so I think we got through like three days before they shut everything down. You wow. know what I'm saying? So, wow. um, and I'm just starting to get back out uh, now. So uh, this next coming month, I'll be, I'll be doing a tour again, man. But wow. it's been, it's been cool, man. I just been chilling and, and enjoying time with the fam, eating good food. You know what I'm saying? And uh, binge watching on Netflix. You know what I'm talking about? So, wow. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, careful the now. Co- the they, cooking shows, they, they, the there's cooking like, shows. There's a divide right now on Netflix. There's a, there's oh, a people know, trying to boycott. <laughs> people trying to keep oh, it. He's going so right careful. to it. He's going right careful. to it. Careful. <laughs> hey, they boycotting that. They need. They they can't do nothing. And they need to turn out their TV. Mm. They don't need to. 
it's a lot of stuff that you gotta boycott. No, trust me, I'm with every, you. Every I day. laugh every time they try to boycott something for some one bad thing. Like they're like, "Yo, don't buy clothes there." The designer said that he designs only for, for white folks, and I'm like, <laughs> "I don't yeah. care." Like, why that? Why, <laughs> I, that don't matter to me. If I could go in the store and buy it, that's I'm gonna buy it if I like it. I like, buy it. I don't <laughs> care. Like, unless yeah. I go to the store and the lady in the front desk goes, "Excuse me, we don't serve your kind." Then I'm gonna be like, "I." Right, <laughs> Then there's a this is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me from buying something. That's because Gil was trying to buy leggings. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Hey, I, <laughs> no, no, man. Let me. <laughs> they're called joggers. He's like, he's like yo, it's no, joggers. You got to keep up okay? with the times, man. It's like, joggers. <laughs> you got to stay relevant. Joggers, relevant. You joggers stay is relevant. leggings for men. Yo, fine. Speaking of which. It, I, do you do you find yourself trying to switch up your style to stay relevant, or do you just stay true to yourself and just let God lead? I mean, it. So so for me, man, it's like Bible says, you know, be a, we become all things to all men. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now that means you know maybe do maybe yeah maybe sometimes I do try to keep up with the trends. Uh, but but I you ain't buying things. leggings though. No, heck no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, hey, hey, you gotta go get ahead. No, but go ahead. Get serious with it. All right, bye bye. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I become all things to all men, but I never become the men. Ah, that's, mm. that's, that's, that's the difference. Like, if you become Jams, that, brother, it, then something's wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, I mean, I keep up with current fashion and stuff like that and try to, man. You know, I, uh, you know, I just did my first year back really, uh, when was it, Saturday, um, in Midland, Texas. And of course, you know, uh, my birthday present this year, I asked my wife, man, I've been wanting to grill forever. You mm. know what I'm saying? Since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So I, I told my wife, you gonna give me one? And she actually got it for me. You know what I'm saying? Dope. So I'm <laughs> Yo, that's fire. I got the white gold grill. You know what I'm saying? Nice. So I just I just got a little jewelry to magic. Plus I got some- uh, You had to have known something because you had to get it casted, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah you must so have been like, yo, she's really doing this right now. We're doing really the process doing right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like, I was I was there, I was excited. So that's but the crazy. Thing, so I walk into the event this Saturday. As soon as I walk in, you know, it's a big old group of teenage boys uh from a uh it's called uh Team Flow, which is like mm-hmm. they they bring these these troubled youth in and try to church them, you know what I'm saying? And so they brought a whole group over there. As soon as I walk in, all those dudes look at me, start talking about my Yeezys, asking me about my jewelry, everything, right? <laughs> so right when I walk in, I already got their attention, right? So they don't understand I'm not a rapper like everybody else, I'm a worshiper. So when I get mm. up there and I do my thing, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like they already got their attention because they, they like, they you know, the bait. They resonate the with right what they see. What they see, right? And so when I did it, Tell me why 15 of those dudes got baptized that night. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Oh, bro. Thank so, God, bro. You know, it's like, man, you, you become all things to all men. You just don't become those men. But we got to understand that, you know, the gospel is always one generation away from being extinct, from being wiped out. If we don't teach these kids wow. and we don't if we don't relate to them and we can't, and we can't draw them in, it's going to be a problem because the world ain't got no problem drawing them in. Right. They gonna they gonna draw men like that from birth. That's right. what they try to do. So us as believers, you equip you know them. Saying? You equip them and you get them ready to go out yeah. for the you for the for the for the, the, for the great commission for the call. Yeah. Go out into the world, make disciples of the nations. Now, brother, is that what? Um, are you still with True Breed Records? I am not with True Breed anymore. No, no. Okay, no. am I stirring something up? My bad, man. I didn't. I should have. No, 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 I should have no, no, given no, you the notes beforehand. Like, <laughs> no. True- it was cool, man. It was, it was a great time, great experience for me, you know, uh, actually to have distribution through Capital. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you know, one of my best albums to date, you know, I dropped it, did really well, man. And But, you know, I'm, I'm totally independent now, man. You know, um, I do everything myself, man. So it's like, you so know, that project, the project that you just dropped, just the two of us, uh, was that just, that, that Dream Team United? Is that your group like with him or just? That's just that's just me. Okay, um, so, got you. Uh, the, just the two of us. Uh, that's actually my fourteen-year-old son. Oh, get out of here! Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. Yeah, help. Yeah. That was actually gonna be one of the things. Oh, I was gonna get ask oh, him that's about. fire! Yeah. yeah. So that's my fourteen-year-old son. I, you know, he 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 wanted to rap, man, and so I told him, man, if this is what you want to do, yo, he's I'm, dope. <laughs> yeah. So, man. Yo, I mean, all right, hit class, man. man. Dope. Yeah, 
raise, man. raise young man up, man. That's dope, man. Hand it down. Okay. Yeah, so that pass that the mic. Was, uh, 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 you know, a few tracks of mine, a few tracks of his, and then a few tracks we did together. And so, um, it's just super dope, man, because he has a song on there, which is my favorite song with uh, B Rose and, and Curtis Hoppy, kind of called, called Count It All Blessed. That mug mm. is fire, man. He wrote that it verse. Is. He wrote that verse. He was going through some things and he came back and spit it. And I was like, bruh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my 14 year old son. Yeah. He like, said, hold on a second. Like, You're a little like, uh, like, uh, like, you, know, was son, that, you know how long was, I've been yo, waiting to say these words was, that I'm about to say to you right you know, now? Wait it, for it. Bars. You know how long I've been wanting to say that to you, son? <laughs> it was that Cobra Kai moment. He was like, oh, I want to I wanna open the dojo back up. Bro, you just said that, bro, because I just told him the other day, because his name is Chiron. We call him Kai. I was like, uh, and so we started doing uh, Cobra Kai. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah. So check it out. So we've been doing, we've been doing like, uh, that's hilarious. And I told him the other day he came out in his gear and I was like, oh man, I'm going to change your rap name to Cobra Kai. <laughs> Yo, that's actually kind of fire, though. Oh, that's dope, man. Yeah. Or, if, or if you guys did an album, like, with that Cobra Kai theme. Oh, that would be crazy. And he's stepping on the snake. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that, that would be ridiculous. Hey, I'm going to have to tell him about that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you, even if he doesn't want to make it his rap name, that's fine. That's maybe that's but too much. But do a much. theme. Do at but least one Cobra little. Kai theme. Something. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Hey, if it happens... You heard it here first. First up, Mario right. Escola. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I we dropped that, that album independently, man. So Dream Team United is just my, my little uh, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Oh, oh, I can see why you, you made that you made into it a dream word. team. Got it. Yeah, so, because that's so a whole true. lot to say to everybody. Like, what's your name, your organization? Oh, lot. well, first of all, it's uh, you're, you're sitting <laughs> yeah. down. You're sitting down. You're sitting down. All right, uh, wait for you this. You got to put a little bit of this. <laughs> it's a recipe. It's a re it, yo, you've been grilling for too long. He's like, <laughs> nah, He's like wait a minute. This is a recipe for arroz con pollo. <laughs> this is your name? <laughs> it's a secret family <laughs> recipe. Oh, I shoot. said, give me a name, not a not recipe. There's <laughs> Goya up in here. There's all types On of original scrolls so and everything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, made out of camel hair. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Go ahead. One strand, one strand of camel hair. One strand not of one camel strand. hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Just one strand. Just gotta oh, make it authentic. Man. Frankie, what up? Independently, man, it did well as well, man. So God is good, man. Yo, like, so you're looking to sign, you're looking to build, or I mean, I um, how would I say? So I do a lot of projects with just people. Like I'm working on a project with from the Dream Team United thing with Plain James right now. Uh, Fire called 2K oh. Forever, man. So um, we actually are dropping our first single uh, October second called Mamba Mentality. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, just, Mamba, just, like Black Mamba. Yeah, like like Kobe. Yeah, Mamba mentality. Oh, Mamba yeah. mentality. October second. Yeah. October second, man. Nope. And so we've already pitched it to the NBA, ESPN, and Two K. So, Woo, uh, congrats, more hand class, brother. Yo, hey, yo, this is a gem, bro. bro. That's, a, that's a pro tip right there for y'all youngins. Yeah, Go submit ahead, it. Submit I'm sorry, I gotta to interrupt and celebrate every, every so now that and then. Where you Go get ahead. those plays in video games, Facts. movies. Like yeah. that's a that's that's congrats. A dope so that was right already there. already in the works before you even released the project. Yep, yep, that's already in the works. Yeah, man. So we're just trying to get get you know do what we do, man. I told like like I said, man. Basketball is is a universal language. Music is a universal language. And love is a universal language, man. And so when you combine all those things, you know what I'm saying? Like folks go folks gonna get it, man. And so. Um, and if we can do that, then they go back and listen to the the music. They gonna see what we stand for, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's all Jesus on this side, man. Amen, so, brother. Amen. Yo, that's First beautiful. Side, so, so yeah, that Dream Team United thing. You know, I just put projects together with people, man, and just you know, uh, drop stuff. Just just trying to create unity, man. God really showed me, man. Like, like, man. I think the problem with the church is, you know, it's not enough unity, bro. Like. 
it's it's all these different kinds of people. It's like, man, you know. And I, I know you real about that because meeting you for the first time, bro. Meeting you, like we just met. You invited me out to your birth to your wife's <laughs> birthday party at a restaurant, and I'm like, and I told my wife, I'm like, yo, I just met this dude. He invited me to his wife's birthday party. Yeah. I'm like, should yeah. we go? Is that awkward? <laughs> and she's like, if yeah. he invited you, we got to go. And I'm like, I, all right. I just don't want to be like, surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody you never met in your life is in your wife's party. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't know if we should go. And she was like, yeah, let's just go. And we went. And it was a dope time. It was super loving, super welcome family. Like, yo, it was such a dope time. And I felt so blessed, especially being in Texas for the first time i was like i don't know nobody and and yo five was just like yo you want what are you doing after all right man we're gonna go to this part you know this restaurant we're gonna eat you know what i mean you gonna come with it i'm like what yeah that's okay dope, i guess i'm going to, with dope. five to go out yeah. to eat let's go yep. <laughs> That's fire, and and that's there's that's, not that's, you know that's you a don't rare see thing. It. You don't see that. You don't see no. that type of like. At least it's rare true, up here, man. You like know? brotherly love like that. You know what I mean? Like you, you know, people are like I need time. I don't know that dude. Like you know, I need time to get to know them before I invite them out, like stuff like that. But you just you know what I mean, pouring out that like that. I can see what you mean by that unity. Mm. That's something that's, that's not really that, out there. And it's crazy that people say it because that's not how the church was. Like you know, mm. Jesus and them walking town to town. And guess where they were staying? They were staying with people with they each other, know, but they were believers. You know what I'm saying? Like they would feed them, they would take them in, they would house them, That's crazy. they would feed them. You know, they would share everything, man. And so I think for us, man, so Dream Team United is just a thing trying to bring unity, man. You know, Jesus, Amen. his last prayer, man, he he prayed in John 17. He said, "I pray that they would be one, even as you and I are one." You know what I'm saying? All right, you, that's what he was saying. He was like, "Man, unity is the thing that's gonna keep this thing rolling. Unity." It, it, he even says he says how they gonna how they gonna know your mind by the way you love one another. He wasn't talking about how by the way you love sinners or or people that aren't saved. He was telling the disciples by the way you guys love each other. That's how they gonna know your mind. You know what I'm saying? And wow. so as 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 children of God, you know what I'm saying. That's our job is to love one another, fellow believers. You know what I'm saying? And go the extra mile for that fellow believer and, and make them feel welcomed. You know what I'm saying? And so. That's just that's just how I've always lived, man. That's how I will continue to live, you know. I was even that way in the world, you know what I mean? I was doing drugs with folks I had no clue. They could have killed me, wrapped me up, and mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I was just always that dude who just showed love and like, wow. man, you know, come come rock with me. Let's rock. You know what I'm saying? And so that's just my demeanor, man. Like I love spending time with brothers, man, and, and just fellowship. And like that's a, that's a that's an important thing because you got to think about it. Jesus came to this earth. He could have did everything he did by himself. But instead, what did he do? Yeah. He went and got 12 dudes to roll with. That's right. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying? He didn't have to do that. Yep. He could have done all, yeah. he could have done it all by himself because yep. he got, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that he went and got 12 folks and they rode together for three years shows you the importance of fellowship, man. You know facts. what I'm saying? So, Super facts. Yeah, man. So that's that's what that's about, man. And no, I love that, bro. I love that spirit. I love where, where you're coming from, man. I, I I love the direction you're trying to go in. Because even that spills in, even with the music that you're doing too, as well, you kind of see that with it. And that's something that we talk about a lot on the show. So I, you know, I kind of want to highlight that as well, um, because a lot of creatives kind of like fumble into this show as well, because we kind of started out with that, trying to help the young man coming up navigate through this thing, because there's a lot of like dips and, and hoops and hurdles and, and things that can scar you and almost make you want to just, you know, um, almost hate your brother bro like you know real talk like sometimes it gets it, it, it can be confusing you got to wrestle with you know your own pride your own selfishness you got to wrestle with a lot of things to be pure to, to to move with a motive that that desires to truly honor god and not want to put yourself up to be the next whatever like the next jay-z or the next you know drake or the next yeah. whatever you know what i mean and um so just stressing that point as well that you know that where you're coming from with unity um yo i encourage everybody who does that stuff to make themselves accessible and i understand like you know building a brand you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i understand like getting paid for your service you know i mean you get paid even as a, as a minister you get paid so there there is a level of respect uh when it comes to finance but ultimately we should desire unity you know, so amen to that. Bro. And also wanted to give you a shout out, Five, because, you know, you also recently posted that you no longer will be charging 
uh, for your ministry that mm. you only f- to cover Dope. expenses like you know travel, stay, you know, and return flights, things like that nature. But that you will no longer be putting a price on your ministry, which I thought was super encouraging because you're trusting in the Lord. You know, if they decide to give you a blessing, they do. If they don't, either way, you're doing God's work. You know what I mean? And that's just beautiful, bro. I applaud that. Big time. I do the glory. Yeah, man. That, that's been on my heart forever, man. Like, I, I just never felt like, like putting a price. You know what I'm saying? And I, I never want money to hinder what God is doing, man. And, you know, one thing I know is that, you know, um, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. What that means Amen. is man. Chase God, you ain't got to chase money. Money will chase you. Amen. You know so all you got to do is is get in there, do what God has called you to do, man. And so me and my wife prayed about it. We talked about it. She was like, "Man, I'm with it." You know, uh, and I and mind you, I do this full time. Like this this is how I provide for my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when you, when you're in one accord with your wife, you know what I'm saying, and and, and you're in, you you both are in tune with the spirit. You listen to what God says. Ain't no stopping what what's gonna happen, man. So. I just, man, just stepped out the boat, man. I had to be like Peter. Like, folks don't understand. You never know you can walk on water unless you get out the boat. You know what I'm saying? Jesus, yeah, he didn't just call Peter Peter out the boat. He said, come. Any one of those disciples could have got up and walked on water. But Peter was the only one that did it. You know what I'm saying? So any one of them could have got out and right. came to him. Mm. And they would have walked on water. He just said, come. He didn't say, come, Peter. He said, come. And, and, you know, Peter wasn't walking on the water. He was walking on the word of God. Mm. God say, come. And that's the word. Yeah. Oh, him. yeah. Fire, bro. You know what Obeying I'm the word. Like, gotcha. Yeah, Fire. Man, he, he was standing on the, on, the on the word. That's crazy. That's facts. He was, he was standing on the word of God. Yeah, so, facts. You know, and then uh, we all know the story. He took his eyes off God. But, you know what I'm saying? Mm. He was close enough to Jesus that he reached down and, and caught him like that. Like you ain't Dude, there's so many parallels. Yeah, that's so dope. The moment you take your eyes off the word of God, boom. like boom, yeah. you, you're gonna boom. fall. That's super that's, fast. That's crazy. And so yeah, I never man. thought I knew he took his eyes off of God, but I never thought of it in that deeper way where even you could use it as a metaphor. Yeah. Like he when he stood like out par- of that boat, he that. was standing on the word, word of God because yeah. he spoke. Because he said he commanded and he, and he commanded him. Oh, yeah. But then he fell into the water because, after that because yeah. he took his eyes off of God, which also right. applies that <clears throat> taking your eyes off of the word that he commanded mm-hmm. to come. Yeah, I got it. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, <laughs> yeah, you that's baffling so dope. Gil's mind over here, bro. That's, that's so dope. I never <laughs> thought of it in those two parallel ways. It was just always <laughs> yeah. like, ah, you see? You should have, you, you should have, you know, stayed focused. So you know what, you Gil, you know what Gil is doing God. when he's streaming the sermon. He's pausing that's like crazy. every, hold up. <laughs> Oh, Did yeah. you hear what he just said? Like that that <laughs> one 45 I'm, minute turns into three hours really fast. It's even crazier when I'm doing <laughs> that and doing I'm by myself. In between the sermons. <laughs> it's even crazier when I'm oh, by myself. Oh, I'm like, really? did you hear what? <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody here, but did you hear it? <laughs> you, yourself? You better hear that. I'll play it again. Hear that. Yo. That's, oh man, so, that's dope, bro. Yeah, man, that's just you know stepping out the boat and trusting God and saying, "Look, Lord, we know you're gonna provide for us, you know." And I want to be able to go out and share my story with whoever I can, um, and share my testimony, man, because that's what I'm called to do. So we just we just took the price off of and said, "Hey, if, as long as y'all can get us there, get us home, uh, put us up, and maybe give us a bite to eat, we're there." Period. Like I ain't I ain't asking for no money. If God put it on your heart to bless us. And, and you do or don't do it, then that's on you. That's between you and God. That's dope. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But God, gonna, he going to provide for us regardless because we know where our hearts at and we know what we're called to do, man. So we just want to go and be a blessing to people, man. So pretty cool, man. Like, you know, I'm nervous and, 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 and excited at the same time, man, because, you know, like I said, this is how I provide for my family, you know. But I know God, he going to provide for us, so. You know, Amen, you know, brother. Man, it's a, it's I, I hear it all all in your spirit, bro. And yeah. it's funny because that's where we're we're coming to that point right now of realization of full dependency 
on, on God. Not saying like <laughs> we weren't there. Like before, I'm just saying like, especially in regards to the show and what we're doing, kind of finding our way behind the scenes because there really isn't like a blueprint. At at least so we thought. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you, you're, you're thinking of business, you're thinking of strategies, you're thinking of all these things. But the Lord has been teaching us that um, to not take our eyes off just the word, man, and just seeking Him. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like putting as much effort into seeking from these gurus, these business entrepreneurs and all this stuff, you should be putting that much more into seeking the Lord. Just Because just like you said, you seek Him first and all these things shall be added to you. You know what I mean? So that's super dope, bro. So before we jump into this track, we're going to be jumping into we just came to worship but before that brother why don't you let us know where we can get your most recent project or give us some updates on any music coming out or anything like that website yeah. anything the stage is yours bro yeah man so uh you guys can uh find me uh on facebook craig five james um uh, as, a, That's good. Uh, as a, i'm telling people now man i'm transitioning into my real name um, so Craig Clyde James, my Instagram is at Craig James official now. Um, and then, uh, man, you can find my music everywhere, man. YouTube, iTunes, just type in the number five so, IVE. So you're getting and, rid of uh, the name five. You're just going to go by your name. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go by Craig James. Yep. Nope. No, no, okay. uh, I'm phasing it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is part of the process right here. Part of, part of the process. We, we're part of the transition. <laughs> yeah, man. You're part of the transition. Got hey. you. This is one of the first places I'm, I'm really talking about it. So um, that's, that's why dope. you'll see my stuff has changed, man. Like, but, you know, you can hit me up anytime, man. You know, uh, got a new project coming out with my boy playing James called 2K Forever. Um, that's going to be dropping probably in December, beginning of December. Uh, we got the first single dropping October 2nd, Mamba Mentality. You know what I'm saying? And, and like we were saying earlier, man, that's the that's the message behind Mama Mentality. Folks that listen to it and say, man, it's a dope sports track. But my thing with Mama Mentality is like that's the way I want to seek God. Like like Kobe worked out. Like Kobe, you know, you hear stories of people saying they go to the gym. Kobe was there at three a.m. You know what I'm saying? They come back two hours later, he's still there. They come back. You know what I'm saying? And you hear all these stories. So this Mama Mentality, we need to take that into the church and be like, man, this is how we want to be on the things of God. You know what I'm saying? Like. We, oh, we need to focus on those things and go after those things. And when we do that, God will take care of us. But yeah, y'all can look me up. iTunes, all that good stuff, man. Just type in the number five, I-V-E, exactly how it's right here, up here. There you go. <laughs> you'll, you'll find, you'll yeah. find everything, man. So, um, but yeah, right. man, I, I appreciate the support and everything, man. So God Oh, yeah, man. It's all love, man. Absolutely, bro. You're welcome anytime, man. Just reach out. Let us know, man. This is what we about. Um, but yo... Oh, yeah. Use us for promotion. Facts. We got a new album coming out, new single. You know, definitely reach out to us. We would love to help and share it. You know what I mean? And we can interview you about the new album or our project. So to keep us in mind, brother. Hey, man. One more thing, though. Let me, I got to mention this or I'm going to get in trouble. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> on next Saturday, virtual concert in Austin, Texas. It's going to be myself. Sean C. Johnson, uh, Brother Three, uh, Victorious, uh, Gifted the Flamethrower, uh, and, and some more people, a, a, a few more people. And uh, But we, we have tickets on sale now. It's a virtual experience, and half the proceeds are going to go uh, into helping my mom uh, rebuild her home. Uh, if people don't know, man, my mom lost her, her, her house and everything in it. And oh, man, sorry to hear that, brother. And so um, we're doing this to kind of help raise funds for her and, uh, you know, just to be a blessing to the online community, man. So uh, if, if you go follow me or you you uh, are friends with me on Facebook, I'll post up the link next week. You guys will be able to get tickets, man. It's just 10 bucks and uh, you'll be able to watch the concert live right there, man. A worship experience like like never before, man. It's going to be it's going to be great, man. Dope, so, cool. Yeah. Be sure guys, to share man, the link with us on, with us, man. too. Love so that way I can put it in you know, the uh... ever need something for me. Just hit me up. Oh, I don't think you can hear this. All right, brother. Oh, I don't mute it. I, I hold up. I think we're muted. Yeah. <laughs> hold up. Yeah, I don't know how we muted. I don't know how we did that. Hey, you can hear us now. My bad, bro. Yeah, I was like, give me all me. right, my bad, bro. We were just saying, man, that's what's up, bro. And make sure to share the link with us as well, and we'll make sure that we update it in the pres in the uh, description as well, so that way, uh, you know, people could check out that link. Appreciate y'all, man, for real. All right, brother. We love you. Grace Appreciate and peace, you, bro. bro. Here's five. We just came to worship. Peace, bro. Hey, 
Benji Bo Feel this, he'll recognize it when they hear this. God said, don't forget who I am, man. Keep it real, don't flex for the gram, man. Not, not, they put it on the TikTok. KMF, real Christian hip hop. Clap back, bless back on the Snapchat. Young G, so they get the devil flashback. Bang, bang, man, the proof is in the pudding. I got everybody looking like it's all goody, goody, man. I'm preaching in the project on the corner in the hoodie, and I'm holding on my bopper like I'm loading up a fully in the main time. You can crumble like a cookie, you don't change anything you cooking, you gon' end up getting cooked up in it. Christ came with the killers in the hoodlum, in the hoodlum, in the killer, he the only one to save a sinner. Why he lacking with no Bible like it ain't for him? Stretch my hand out to a hater, let me pray for him. We don't babysit nobody, man, we all grow. If God said green light, then we all go. According to your love and kindness, keep me away from evil and the double minded. Surround me with the ones on the same assignment, know your righteous remedy. How you design? We just came to worship. 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 What you came here for? We just came to live up His name, though. Know these people need a change, so we can't leave this place the same. I'm service, service. In your city, we swerve and pull up on you with the word that's service. service. Used to ride around with strap, uh huh. Uh-huh. Now I ride around with the fast. Service. Same way with the word that I was in the trap. Did the best thing going, no flex, no cap. Uh-huh. Hey, so what happened? what happened? Salvation and free, no scam. Uh-huh. Everybody gon' eat, we family. Plenty bread over here, no fam. No fam. Double cup of liver water, we splash. Like real strip, we ain't talking about fast. And this money in Christ, I'm bragging. Uh-huh. Ain't nothing out here that can match. Ain't no way these people leave it the same And if you can't best believe you gon' see that we ain't playing no games We can't lift up his name, pray for the blind in the lane Tell everybody in the building, finally free when they change So if you looking for change, you in the right place Get a text and you gon' see ain't nothing like race Might face many problems, but with God on your side You gon' see I put the rock, make a giant decide. This is more than a vibe, this is real praise So when I worship, you gon' see I'm moving real ways Just like some real bass, the ground starts shaking Pauling silence out the prison with the moves I be making Change breaking in the demons getting cast out. I don't go reach for him and worship till we pass out. Before we match out, somebody getting healed. Somebody getting saved and somebody getting feared. Whoa. We come to give him my all. That's why every time we worship, we see change fall. My dad answered the call and now I'm doing the same. He did the city. All we trying to do is lift up his name. Find a shame of the gospel to the death of me. Whoever worshiping, they got to put the breath in me. And if he next to me, he might want to give me some space. Because I'm about to worship God. We just came That was five. We just came to Warship featuring Kyrene Sarrell. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uncle Reese, Brian Trejo, and playing James Five track. I don't know where Gil went, but uh, Gil, you coming? Five track. Shout out to Five. That was dope. Gil, that you? I'm on my own. I'm running Dolo right now. This is how it would be if I was on my own. It's kind of different, huh? <laughs> so listen, this is what we're going to do. Because I got to be on my feet with this. We're going to jump into another uh, feature track. This is actually a music video. Breakhaven, Yahweh, 
music video. Shout out to Breakhaven. Thank you for uh, reaching out and letting us know we could rock this track. Love you, bro. Shout out to the Prayer Plug as well. Who put us on. Always keep us, always keeping us plugged in. Go check out the Prayer Plug on Spotify as well. Here we go. I was up and down the highway, trying to do it my way To put a circle in the square, I tried to move it sideways I do not want to do it my way, time to do it your way I do not want to do it my way, time to do it your way oh. Since your first album dropped, you done got some fame up So she in my line, she say, boy, you done changed up It ain't that I change, it's that I done step my game up What's the point of living right if we doing the same stuff? Listen, I'm just trying to elevate Kind of elevation make you feel like you can levitate I wonder what you have in store, Lord Show me something I ain't never seen before, yeah I was up and down the highway Trying to do it my way To put a circle in the square I tried to move it sideways I do not want to do it my way Time to do it your way I do not want to do it my way Time to do it your way oh. Girl number two, she was looking at her life wrong She said she gets all of her energy from her stone So I cut her off, I killed two birds with one stone If I gotta compromise what I believe, I'd rather be alone But if you focus on the kingdom, then everything will happen as it should when you believe it And a man ain't gotta date a hundred women for his woman And woman won't be searching for her kingdom, man yeah. I was up and down Oh, what up, everybody? What's going oh. on? I just cut them out just like that. Huh? <laughs> did you do that on accident? <laughs> yeah, I did on accident. But anyway, you could peep Whoa. that. God's providence. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what we'll do? We'll finish out on that one anyway, out of respect for brother, because I do like that track. So we'll finish out with that. track is fire. I really jumped into that track because you were gone. No, I know, I know. But uh, now you're back. And so. now you rudely <laughs> And I rudely bro. just intervened. <laughs> My bad. Now he's gonna jump on this thing and be like, "Yo, these dudes are so reckless." No, no. no me... I hope you don't say it like stop. that. No, no, me... All right, let me get this chat off, man. I don't think this chat is working for us, bro. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't like. Oh, the chat on the screen. Up there. Yeah. Well, first of all, it. it's so small. I can. I'm even not really read feeling it. it. I don't know if anybody else can even read it. That was dope. Uh, shout out to Five. Craig Good James. Up, man. He, he transitioned into Craig James. That was dope. Formerly known as Wow, yeah, five. No, that was true. Man. Um, so a lot of uh, it's dope hearing you know his story about going, you know, being full time. Uh, he's been full. Oh, why is that doing that, bro? How about y'all? I gotta troubleshoot today a lot. I sound like a robot. Can <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people actually hear that? Yeah, they hear that. Robot. It's coffee time. All right, we back. My bad, y'all. I don't know what's going on. It's been a minute since we've been on the Zoom, so I don't know what's going on. My bad. I apologize. But uh, yeah, it's dope hearing him, um, you know, being full time, doing music and ministry. Well, because for years. him, it's ministry work. You know what I mean? Like, he's not, you can hear it. Like, he's, he's, he's going to preach. He's going to yeah, worship. Serve. He's going to serve. Yeah, exactly. So um, shout out to him, man. That's dope. He really does, man. So we got dope things going on at CHH. Apparently. We got a, a, a shout out from the game to a Christian hip hop artist. Yep. Caused all types of craziness. Joey Vantes gets a shout out from the game. Let's, uh, let's play it real quick. Yo, what's poppin'? It's the game. You already know what's up. My homeboy Joey dropping his new shit this week. Careless. About to put on for the whole West Coast. You already know what it is, man. Check that shit out. You heard? And follow the homie on IG one time. Just one time. Just one. <laughs> just not two times. <laughs> two times too much. Nah, dude. Follow <laughs> him for, one time. It's forcing it. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, everybody jumped all over that. I, well, you know, I keep my ears to the street, my eyes yeah. to the street, and I see what's going on, and everybody was talking about it. Yep. Eventually, it was alleged that... Well, not alleged, actually. Actually, it wasn't even alleged. It was just somebody pointed out something. That's yeah. what it was. And uh, 
they pointed out that uh, the game actually has a service that he provides at cameo.com. Mm. And this was like the big thing, like in CHH, like at one point. Um, and he provides, you can see like the video with the same similar kind of backgrounds. And he actually does this shout out thing on Cameo. And there's a few uh, celebs that offer this service where you can pay, in this case, $300 and, and somebody gives you a shout out. Yeah. So the alleged thing is that they're saying that he did it for cloud and that, you know. Well, he, I, I don't, I don't that, even think. That's the alleged part, you know. I don't even think that was said though. So to be fair, with the two. Uh, platforms that uh were the ones to make the announcement when this first like broke out it was uh where is it we got it here where's it at i think it's here. You hey, tell it me? here we go that's not christian which shout out to them man i love them yep. fans of the show and the crew also uh co-laborers with gh3 radio shout out to gh3 radio we love you um, who reported on this and then uh, shortly after they got hit with a letter supposedly from the legal team saying if you're uh, how you say it defer how you say defamation it? of character something like that yeah to take it down within like 24 48 hours something like that yep but so yeah what, man that's what I mean like they, they're, <laughs> the defamation of character is the fact that you know they were saying that he was seeking clout, like that he was, he was, just, he didn't really know him, like it was fake, you know, and like, why else would you share a fake shout out other than you looking for clout? So that's why they were pointed at that. He said, he did the defamation thing because it's not true. He put out an explanation on it too. And, you know, stating that it wasn't even him. It was his wife who bought it for him. Okay. Before you jump for from that point, just, so just, just like, everything that I just unfolded right now from the shout out that he received mm -hmm. before all this and then few media sites or or youtubers or whatever podcasts announce it like their findings yeah yeah up until that point like what are your th what are your th my thoughts is i don't think what he's doing what like what he's going after them for is is incorrect like i don't think it's right i don't think it's a defamation of character first of all let me Shout unfold. out to Joey Joey Vantes because Yo, the project's fire. Yo, the project's fire. The yeah. EP's dope. He is a fire artist. I actually I went back and I checked out his media and I checked out his tweets and I checked out, you know, just his profile just because, you know, this was all going on and I wanted to, you know, yeah. we have a Christian hip hop podcast, so we yeah. talk about things. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, let me let me see what's going on here. And and brother was like super like everything I saw with, with his tweets and everything, everything was very mature, very yeah. Christ centered, uh, Christ is king. Um, you know, it was very encouraging from Honestly, my perspective. I didn't see it that big Actually, a deal. recently he just started tweeting about CD Baby and and copyrights and all that kind of stuff. And you know where we come from. He's also an independent artist. He's on his own. He's he's hustling on his own solo artist. And you know how I feel about that. Mm. <laughs> you know how I feel about the underdog, the independent coming Thanks. up against all odds, trying to make ends meet, trying to figure this out and wanting to worship God and stay faithful. You know how I feel about that. Yeah. So for me, it's like when I did my research, I was like, yo, dope. Okay. Like that's what's up. I was like, okay, I, I can look at, look what's going on. Everybody's talking about it. It's already like a week later. I'm probably, hey, we, we go live every Wednesday. What do you want me to do, man? I'm not, I'm not Ruslan. You know? Honestly, it's like. Yo, I'm not Ruslan, Superman. You know what I'm saying? People, Where people, I can put on a cape and fly around California and be like, C-H-H. No. He's flying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what app is that? You know, uh, but but no, go ahead. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> like, Six I, pack and everything, just like I am Ruslan, <laughs> the god of CHH. No, the god <laughs> of CHH. I That's am nasty. Super Ruslan. Why does he have his shirt on? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I don't He's know. The ask god him. of CHH. Ask him. <laughs> I love you, brother. He's the man. god of CHH. Yo, this shit. is like an ongoing thing that we do with Ruslan. He probably has no idea. He's um, just over I there, think like he has a very good idea. He's over there. I'm not Ruslan. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 this dude oh, no. this dude Ruslan comes to his set on a horse just like skateboarding on a horse I'm here to rap are you uh, are you sure <laughs> dude you, you're standing on a horse what are, you, <laughs> are you sure you're here to rap what are you <laughs> I just finished diversifying my what is house, going on my horse ranch who got all the keys 
All right, go ahead, man. Um, but yeah, seriously. <laughs> Now I forgot my thought. <laughs> my, my, bad, my bad. So the whole thing with uh, uh, yeah. Dude. So as far as like this, I don't think it's really defamation of character to 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 report on something or to even speculate. It's a speculation, huh. and the speculation seems to be accurate because it was a paid service and it was a post that was put out. There wasn't no commentary saying, "Hey guys, my wife did this for me. This is crazy." Then it would have been received a little bit easier or better, I guess. You know, less people would have been angry about it, I guess. Honestly, I didn't really see it as a big deal. I just, yeah, thought, somebody, it was, I just thought it was funny that somebody called it out and was just like, ah, it's a paid service. I'm like, dang, man, you just can't get away with nothing nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he did do it for that reason, like, let him Well, let it. me ask you an honest question. Whatever. Not, you That's know, on dis him. Disregard all this stuff, but let me ask you an honest question because I wasn't even familiar with Cameo dot com to me be honest me i never either. even heard of it nah, me so now i look at it i'm like oh you could pay for it. a shout out for real <laughs> like wait a minute makes you question <laughs> hold every, on a second every you can, shout out ever you could existed just, you could just pay for a shout out that's what happened to me i wasn't like uh joey uh, yeah, i wasn't like that because i heard the project and i was like this is dope okay yeah, yeah. all right like if if what if mr watson sends me a letter i'll, I'll be like you serious like i like the project too <laughs> like I'm, I'm actually rooting for the project if it, it's a dope project yeah you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, okay, this is. I just this like is fire. Why, why do people care if you paid for it or not? It's like they, that's the part that I, I'm sure that may, if anything, he didn't seem upset. But if anything, I'm sure that probably upset him. Like, why do people care so much? I think it's just a. Like, why the, do they gotta, I think like, it's just a. I, I think it's just the curiosity of how things are happening in the music industry. Because, yo, matter of fact, let me just wrap up this convo because, yo. Uh, Joey, keep doing your thing. If you hear the show, bro, keep doing your thing. And matter of fact, that's not Christian is a fan of the show. We love them, man. Um, they're welcome on anytime. The crew to uh, co-laborers. It's a small little circle of us that that are doing our thing. And honestly, at, at the end of the day, we're looking for God to get the glory. Uh, we, we're hoping Amen. that we're not looking foolish to the to the world, and we're not acting reckless and foolish, and actually enticing each other or tempting one another because that's not how we're to operate. We're to operate in love. I mean, we we're called to. Love our enemies and feed our enemies. You know what I'm saying? So can, can you imagine a brother? Like everybody loses in that case. <laughs> to be honest, like it's kind of a, it's kind of, it's stupid at that point. You know, yeah. if we, if we cannibal, cannibalize each other and one another and come at each other, um, that's just real talk. I mean, leave it at that. Do what you want with it. Joey, Joey responds with a tweet. He actually mentions this, um, and this is why people look at Christian uh, Christians the way they do. LOL. I get it now. Probably because he got, you know, all the controversy stirred up, which I can tell you right now. Um, these are just dudes reporting. You know what I'm saying? So if I can be the middleman that speaks to peace, <laughs> that yeah. I like I, I know dudes like I, I know some, you know, we got to keep each other lifted in prayer as well. You know what I'm saying? But if you actually do a little bit more like go back and give it the benefit of the doubt and hear it with ears of grace you can kind of hear like dudes are just kind of like putting people on to certain things certain practices man for real. maybe maybe there was a, i don't know maybe there was a slight of something that i don't know they would pray for that but i to me how i took it was like oh they're reporting on something that they just found oh this exists hold on a second like yeah. maybe i should use that as a creative tip like you know what i'm saying like hold on but that's I why know i was these saying services like, out there allegedly wow. that's what it was because why would you be upset if they're just reporting on something either unless, way he's pushing unless he's, you're taking it either like, way he's celebrating yeah. look, look what he says here legend fam saddle up and ride with me and feel all your support and uh oh love and feel all your support and and how you stand beside me you learn real quick who's real who's fake assumptions is is Hell of a drug. Let's go make them all feel feel us. P.S. I'm on cameo, baby. And he kind of like mm -hmm. digs back. He has a little video with it, and and he kind of like, <laughs> you know what I mean. He's still sticking yeah. to his gun, standing firm. Um, you know, doing his thing. So, uh, for him, it's like it's still pushing. It's pushing dude's project. You know, so yeah. <laughs> that's a win. Yeah, that's dang. a win. Everybody went, talking and, about and, it. And he even put out a pushing video dude's too, project, just like talking about that. Like he just made it viral. Thank you. Facts. Appreciate it. Appreciate what it. What up, support. BRM? What up, B Plus? I see y'all. I see everybody in here. John Reed, I see you. Yo, BRM, man. I see you TikToking. <clears throat> I see everybody I, in there. We're going to have the conversation about that, Mr. Um, BRM. You TikToking now, bro? So, yeah, Joey, I reached out to Joey too as well. I sent him an email, invited him to the show because that's just what we do. Um, I don't know 
how how much it's going to take for people to finally realize that we we don't care about the the clicks or the or the crews or the nah, this or the man. that man we really about building out the genre man um, mm. so that's a win for Joey in my book good that's what's up yeah, man. also a win for the uh, uh, um, that's not Christian podcast because yep. they just went viral and the crew <laughs> and the crew <laughs> like everybody's just pushing each other hey that's a hey a win for everybody praise God hopefully yeah. everybody sees it the same and peace reigns but. So you got the independence, just like what I was saying, people looking behind the curtain, seeing how things actually operate, seeing how the machine actually runs. You even got, this is a great segue into Kanye West. Oh. Well, you got Kanye West just Ooh, going off is. on all these tweets. Yeah. Going off like all musicians will be free. Wow. Uh, what else he's saying? I know my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will make fools of the, of the, and punish all who have participated in unfair contracts, calling Dang. out unfair, unlawful, uh, uh, dishonest, disingenuous contracts that are using outdated uh, fees, outdated strategies, all this stuff, still charging for all these different yeah, things it, it makes that don't apply nowadays at as all. As time changes, you know, contracts should change to fit the times, you know. And actually, if they do that, it would actually work in their both favors. But in this situation, they didn't quite do that, and it only worked in their favor. Mm. <laughs> so that's where, you know, Kanye's anger is coming in because the contract is just solely in the, in only like humongous landslide towards the label and i get it soli deo soli soli deo label <laughs> soli deo label who said that no i'm saying like soli deo label i heard you say soli so i was like uh soli deo label go ahead that would be a dope label so <laughs> soli deo yeah, label right that's now, not a dope name that's like we 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 alone like we're we're the ones like soli deo label like we <laughs> not we no <laughs> that's what it's saying Anyway, go ahead, man. <laughs> go ahead. Let me not throw you off. No, because Deo go is God. Yeah. Only Soli God. So, yeah. So now you're, you're saying Soli Deo label. Like only your record God, label. Only God label. <laughs> this is, this is, we yeah, only... that still sounds okay. dope. All right. Is that only dope? Only God know. label. Is that dope? <laughs> We spent too Easy much time out on here that. peeing on Grammys. <laughs> Sheesh. Yo, real Yo, talk. Yo, for real. He's Gil, I hear we mind. have mutual friend. Oh. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> what is this? Uh, Who said that? Uh, <laughs> ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Who wrote that? <laughs> Ro Ro uh, Ronald. Ronald. Oh, what up, yes, brother? we do. Brother Ron. Our brother Ron. Yes, we, we do we have a mutual you. friend. We love you, brother wink, Ron. Wink, wink. <laughs> Yo, praise, praise. Let's do it for Brother Ron. Yeah, praise As he Brother seeks Ron. his, uh, no. <laughs> his as Lord he, and Savior. As he seeks there you go. Acquaintance. Leave it at that. Yeah, as yeah, he yeah, seeks yeah. his Lord, his Lord and Savior. Pray. Uh, so yeah, so Kanye's over here exposing people, peeing on Grammys and doing all crazy kind of stuff, exposing the music industry. We know how that story unfolds. We've seen it with Michael Jackson. We've seen it with Prince. We've seen it with a few others. I'm not trying to say any kind of conspiracies or anything like that, but I mean, the people with the loudest mouth seem to... What do you mean? Seem to disappear. Soon as people buy their masters, it's like, hold on a second. <laughs> don't don't be leading everybody else down this path. Oh, you're saying like the people uh, like the people in power are taking out the woke? Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. saying? Yeah. yeah. Like Kanye West is just kind of like, uh, what who else? All right. So he he's out in people, you got hip boy jumps in. All right, so hold on. I got to get my, my reading glasses on. <laughs> my reading glasses. Where's my reading glasses? Uh, so he jumps in on IG, and he goes off on his own tangent. Hip Boy, the producer, the rapper, you know mm -hmm. who it is. Yep. If you follow hip hop. Um, and he said, since I was 19 years old, I'm 33 now, and have multiple Grammys, uh, produced a lot of favorite artists, Biggest songs on top turning in over 450 plus records since I first signed. And UMPG still doesn't have it in them, simply to be fair. If they're doing this to me, you should with, raise it up so with all can see it. I can't raise it, hold up. With oh. all I've accomplished through hard work, I can only imagine the kids who don't have big placements, proper guidance. I only read a, a few, the, that part right there. So I'm sorry if I started that yeah, kind of awkward, but my whole point of that was him saying like, imagine me, imagine the mainstream producer, mainstream artist, um, 
getting taken advantage of. Someone as powerful as Kanye West, billionaire, getting taken yeah. advantage of. Can you imagine all the independents that don't know no better? All For the real. people that don't understand their, again, own, their own then contracts. Again, though, and, then again, like when he first got signed, he didn't have all that kind of money. So that's the thing that is very scary because when you get signed, for the most part, you don't really come to the table with a lot. You know what I mean? So could you afford a lawyer? Could you afford someone to look over that contract who's knowledgeable? You know, is that even that resource even available to you? Do you have access to someone who has music and industry experience for contracts and knows if you're getting, you know, the, the bad end of the stick or not? Like, I don't know anybody, even me personally. Like, I don't know a lawyer in this, where I live in my area that would be savvy to look at a contract, a music contract. Mm. So it's not always like, oh, you know, they were so neglectful or they probably, you know, it's their fault because they probably should have known better or they should have got help. It's not always readily, readily available. Mm. So I would say that would be the first thing if there's any artists out there that you should look into, especially if you're looking to get signed. If you're looking to get signed and you need to have that as a backup plan. To have somebody back you up and be like, God, this is not right. This is not going to be in your favor. Mm. You should probably renegotiate this part or this part or that part. But I don't think that happens now. Even but you now. see, but you, a lot of people don't even have, um, can't afford a lawyer. That's what I mean. That's what I just said. Like that's that resource may not even be readily available for everybody, whether they can afford it or whether the service even exists in that area that they're living. Who knows? So what do you think is going to happen with Kanye? <laughs> I don't know, man. Because in, in, in all actuality, he's not with a label. He was with a label. He's just exposing things from his previous label. He's independent now. So it's not like they can control anything other than the fact that he they own a lot of his assets. Which that part is crazy. You know, you know I was listening to uh, Ruslan and he said it. Like he pretty much made their money back. And yet they still taking their percentage, the same percentage from when he first started. And that's crazy. We about like, to even jump. he paid them back. He already paid off all that he owes, and somehow he still owes. I mean, yeah. Anytime his projects makes money, he owes them that percentage, which is like seventy or eighty percent, seventy percent or something like that, which is insane. Who's this, Ruslan? Well, Ruslan mentioned it. He's, he mentioned it on the the um, on one of his <laughs> clips that he just re released recently, <laughs> saying that artists need to realize that even if you pay back all the money they've put into you, whatever negotiation you made from the beginning, that you keep that forever. So they're still making the same cut, even though you already paid them back and then mm. some. John Reed says, at the same time, you have to hope that person that you hire isn't a shady person themselves. Yep. That's another thing. It's, it's a Facts. tough, man. It's tough business. Especially when you start make, you know, making like real, real big money. It's a big temptation for anybody. And if they're shady, you're basically giving them the keys to your kingdom because now they have access to it. all your funds, all your assets. Facts, bro. You gotta know. You really gotta educate yourself and know what you're doing before Facts. you jump in. But and you're, you right. you're right. You're right. Ruslan did stuff. say that. You're yeah. talking about when Ruslan tweeted with uh, uh, Kanye West and said something around the lines like, "Praise God, yeah, that I'm independent." That's what you're talking about. Yeah, he was saying like, "Sorry, that he's suffering now because he's realizing how much of his bad. assets are gone. Like his assets are his albums, and every time his album makes money, they make seventy percent off the top." Uh, B plus says they called it a predatory record deal. Yeah, which is much. which is a lot of them, right? <laughs> pretty much, that's the how majority of them. That's how they operate. That's a sad thing, man. So he's exposing it all, but he's independent. So it's like he's definitely not untouchable. Um, could it be possible that they might find a way to to murk him? Because you know those conspiracies sometimes do exist. You know, you re you release too much information, and they got to take it out because now you're messing with. Big money. You're messing with corporation money and where you live in a fallen world. So it's definitely not far-fetched. 
uh, CHHTS industry rule number 4080. Yeah, for, <laughs> for real. Yeah. You can't be putting out yeah. industry secrets like that, especially ones that are current. And he let the cat out the bag, so some good came out of it because it, it, it's rumored that companies are now looking at their contracts again. Yeah, you know yep. they, you gotta, they're, they're re-looking they're re, over. Yeah, they're re. Yep. Because things have changed. You know, we have streaming. We have all these different revenue streams, and the deals just it's just not ethically right anymore so i'm surprised that they've been getting away with that all this time bro because nobody was questioning it you know think about it you're just like you said you're a young artist coming and this big company is like we can give you all artists of this. need to take their power back into their own hands and that's exactly what what yep. dudes are doing right now right and praise god man because kanye is not doing it just by blaspheming and going crazy like he's actually doing it by he's exposing <laughs> truth and he's saying he's, he's putting jesus in there and all that he's like <laughs> yo he's not just coming for for it like he's isn't it amazing how God yeah. uses someone like that, like somebody who's carrying his name to expose this stuff yeah. and say all musicians are going to be free? Yep, he's, he's using a billionaire. That, that, I mean, I I will forever believe that God is doing something in him until he proves otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Until the fruit shows that he's not, then it is what it is. But as of right now, like he's proclaiming christ he's exposing truths is he perfect no man is perfect look at look at look at who came in the building who came in the building hold up ken s ken s in el bildan it's, it's yo brother you hear us i don't think he can hear us oh he can hear us come on because he got the i can't hear you face look at that face that's the I can't hear you face. Don't do the I can't hear you face, bro. <laughs> he can't hear us. Brother, can you hear us? Nope. That's a, still, I can't hear you. <laughs> that face is it's not It's still changing. the not, that's not Christian podcast. I've messed that all up, but. <laughs> <laughs> I messed that whole thing. Well, he he needs be to be able to hear it in order for Yo, you to Yo, brother, what's good? You in here? Maybe he's muted. I think he's muted. Out here. Yo, oh yeah, oh yeah. You see us or what, man? <laughs> you don't see us at Yo, all. Are right, you so surfing I'm the web? I'm he's trying, surfing the web. I'm trying to bring Jay up in here, and he's like not seeing us at all, and we're all looking at homeboy right now. Yo, he's should gonna we look back Yo, on this? Should we? And die should we continue? Laughing. Should we continue Yo. with him on? Like just just rock with him on. Yeah. Oh, his 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 his. Uh, Yo, he's surfing the web right now, bro. His thing is muted. Hold Cause on. look, I can see his face. Look, look. Yo, now he's smiling. Now he's smiling. Yo, you? what's good? Unmute. There you go. Yo, Jay. I'm trying to unmute him. He won't let me unmute him. Yo, Jay, you hear me? No. Yeah. You don't. You don't hear me. You can't hear. Yo, uh, you got to fix your end, bro. Can you talk? It's you. Can you talk? Say something. All right, I hear you. There now. you ah, are. There we go. Was that my your bad. That was, was my bad. That was ah, see, bad. I said it. I was, was like, man. I was, I was like, yo, it's yeah. you, bro. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, this is Jay from That's Not Christian Podcast. What's up, brother, man? It's an honor to have What's, you with us, bro. Yo, what is going on? Thank you for having me, man. It's a yo, pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah, how you spell us, your name, man. Jay? Help me out. <laughs> Jay my A. So so my my at is J A E I S L A, but you know, my name is Jimmy. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that. Boom. I'm just typing your name up on the. So brother, we were just talking about your whole situation happened. J A E I S L A. Oh my bad. Right. He did it. There it is. Okay, now we good. So brother, we were just talking about the whole incident that happened with that's not crazy. Do you want to just run down real quick and make sure you use the right uh, keywords like alleged and all that? And protect yourself, brother. Be careful as you <laughs> cautiously navigate through the story. Can you give us a little yeah, yeah. bit about what you found and how you became a part of this whole thing? Yeah. So um, I'm in a I'm in a Telegram chat with a bunch of uh, CHH artists, right? And um, Crew came in there and he dropped a link for the the Instagram link for. Um, you know, for the infamous video, right? The the Joey Vantes video where, you know, he has the game shouting him out or whatever. Um, I'm a marketer, right? That that's that's what I do. I do social media marketing. I've been doing that for years. And I was working with a tech company who was interested in using Cameo. And so that's why I was familiar with, with uh, the product, you know, with that service. 
Um, and one of the, one of the persons, one, one of the people working there at that tank company, they jokingly said like, oh, we should get the game. Right. Um, and so that's why when, when, uh, uh, Jay from the cruise, you know, uh, he dropped the link. I was like, oh, look what I found. Right. Immediately. Um, so then I, I, I brought the, I brought the topic up to, you know, my brothers from the podcast, uh, shout out to everybody from that's not Christian podcast. Yep. And Hand uh, I was like, yo, brother. I was like, let's, let's, uh, let's, let, let's talk about this. Right. And we discussed it or whatever. And we brought it up. Now you can go back and, and look at the podcast. Uh, we talked about it. We never accused, um, Joey Vantes, you know, about, using cameo or trying to cap or anything like that you can go back and look at it the, the episode is still up and um oh they didn't take it down <laughs> no we, ne we never okay. no we never took it down <laughs> all right um, that, uh, we, so we 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 got so a couple of days later we got a cease and desist letter right and when i looked at it well, actually um jay from the podcast he he handles all the administrative stuff right so he saw the email first and then he he kind of he uh he took a screenshot and he sent it into uh, into our chat, and we all looked at it and were like, "Yo, this is this ain't real." Like, what did we say? You know, we went back and we listened to the podcast. Like, did we say something? You know what I mean? Like, you, know, <laughs> you guys are like, "Hold on, like, let's double check real quick." Yeah, let's double check. Right? <laughs> do we got a lawyer up? <laughs> it was something we would have <laughs> no, done the same okay, thing. Okay, we would have okay. been like, "I mean, I mean, not not so much lower lawyer up, but okay. like if if we're falsely accusing somebody, like if right, we want to make somebody, sure. yeah, we want to own up to it. You know, we want to apologize because you know." No. Uh, our band, our brand is 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 built on trust. You know what I mean. Don't. And we want to be accountable. You know what I mean. Uh, integrity is very big for us. You know. Yeah. Um, Fire on our show, right? On our show, like we also say, like whenever we talk about anything, at us. You know what I mean. And there's been a few times where we had to come back on the show and be like, "Yo, we was wrong, whatever, whatever," and clear it up. You know what I mean. The same way Joe Rogan did it too. You know what I mean. Yeah. And like people do it all the time. You know. Yeah. Um. So we have no problem with being wrong. So we went back and we listened to the podcast and was like, yo, like we didn't accuse this brother of nothing. Right. Like, so we were going back and forth, you know, should we take it down? Should we keep it up or whatever? You know, and, um, you know, because we were also wanted to be considerate. Right. We didn't want to we, we didn't want to offend him or anything like that. Yeah. And um, we decided to keep it up just just as as a, as a witness. Right. Because if we take it down, there's nothing. There's nothing you can go back to to reference, right? Mm -hmm. It's just whatever the person says, you know. Which a lot of people did. They just kind of went with the story, and it was like, oh, you know, these dudes are clowns, and you know, they're clout chasing, and the haters, and this and that. And that was like never our intention. Like mm. we talked, we 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 talked about that video. You know what I mean? The the one that's on on Joey's Instagram. We talked about it for like maybe a minute, and then we moved on. We started talking about cameo. We started talking about hiring somebody on Cameo. You know, we talked about we we, talk, we talked about hiring the game, and then we went on to Ric Flair. You know, like that was you, like you heard Joey thing. was on Cameo too, though, right? Yeah, he, that's after the fact. That's after the fact. That's yeah. when he came back, and you know, he was he was he when he after so after the slant after he accused us of slander, right? Um, he comes he comes on, he does a video, and he says that he paid for it, right? So then, where's the slander? Right. Like if, if, if you admit that you paid for something. Right. And when you you claim that people were Not falsely him. accusing you His of that, you know what paid. I'm saying? <laughs> OK. <laughs> but the you know, service whatever. was still bought. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's same address. You know what I mean? Probably probably joint accounts. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it is what it is. You know what I mean? But the point is that it wasn't it was it was never slandered because we never said that that's what he did. Um, you know, and and yeah. have and you heard he the project? No, 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 I haven't heard it yet. You haven't heard the project? No, I haven't was heard it. Was that a yet. little bit of like <laughs> you still wrestling with your flesh, brother? I'll be praying. Nah, <laughs> nah, you, know you, you know why? You know why? Because because he, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't on our radar, right? He wasn't yeah. on our radar. Like the only reason why we Now he's from it, Cali, right? He's from out there. Um, I know he's from Arizona. I don't know okay. if he lives I don't know if he lives in Cali, you know, but like like I'm saying, like he wasn't on our radar, you know what I'm saying? Like gotcha. that's that's more to like the younger generation type of music, right? Gotcha. Okay. Like I'm I'm like a boom bap dude. I'm an old school. Okay, guy. I got you, man. I heard the project. I could tell you first here, man. I like the sound. I actually yeah. um I dig it, man. I definitely yeah, dig it. Yeah. I think it's a fire project. I thought see, I thought I thought it was a single, right? And no, it's an EP, it, it's a right, right. And I, I I found that out afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Um, but because he had a a, a, a song with a, a Isaiah Ziv, I was like, well, you know, is it is it a, a Christian album? You know what I'm saying? Because he kind of renounced the faith, you know. 
Mm. And so I wasn't really interested in it. You know, I, I didn't want, I didn't want to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So I never really I got you. To okay. To, 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 you already to, had your, all right, gotcha. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. So what yeah, is, what is, what is, where's your, where's your um desires with all this from here? Like, it's just like, it really was just a convo that you guys talked about on your podcast. And from there you wishing the best and that's it. And that's where you leave. Oh it. yeah. 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 And we, we actually, we recorded an episode last night. It'll be dropping on, on Friday. Dope. Shout out to That's Not Christian Podcast. Where can they check you out, brother? Yo, they can go to that's not Christian.com. There you go. That's, that's not, not Christian.com. Christian. That's Dope. it. Do, can you do that intro for me one time, bro? Just one time. Man. I don't do the intro. That's, oh, that's come on. That's you, man. That's, don't don't that, front. That, that, that's, that's, that's not me. That, that is not, you. That's, that's what is, that? is it like a singing? Like a, it's the that's, that's Not Christian podcast. <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of dope, man. It got a little thing to it. <laughs> we, These we, freaking we, marketing we, geniuses, we got, man. We, 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 <laughs> We got a new one. We we kind of remixed it for for this this next episode dropping on Friday for y'all to check out. Ah, dope. Okay, cool, man. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna get somebody with a real thick accent to do the same the same <laughs> announcement for the Mario Scala. You see, de Mario en cola. Just horns coming. That's it. Yep. All okay. right, yo, Jay, man, it was an honor yo. to have you come on, man. Um, <laughs> I, we're we're building behind the scenes anyway, man. I'm I'm looking yeah, forward for sure. to continue Appreciate to build, time, man. man. And I and I thank you for sharing yeah, your heart with us and clarifying some things. Uh, thank we're praying for, for peace, me. unity, and and I know Absolutely. where your heart is as well. And I know you desire the same thing. So, uh, let's Amen. keep striving for that, brother. Right? Yeah, for sure. Amen. All right, bro. Yo, anytime, bro. You know where to hit me up. Yeah, yeah no doubt. No Again, where's no it doubt. at? That's go, not Christian. Dot com. That's not Christian Podcast. Go check it yo, out, Yo, same here, Jay. If you want to connect, yo, hit me up, man. Let's Send you my it. number, whatever, bro. Listen, I'm on Telegram. Anybody can hit me up. Don't. All right, I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right, Jay, we love you, bro. Platform. All right, All right partner. All right, Grace and peace. Dope, so that was cool. You know, right on the fly, boom, real quick. Get yeah, him on. That was dope. Chop it up real quick about a relevant topic we were just discussing, and it's cool to hear his side, where he's at. So that's what's up, man. Pray for peace. Yeah, man, that's sad. It, it ain't nothing crazy anyway. <laughs> Everybody's but, chilling. You know, but you it's always extreme. sad when, it ain't when, that you crazy. Hear, when you hear Christians have some sort of, you know, any type of, of issue where court and or lawyers are, like, getting yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, yeah. that's never pretty. You know. And it, it so. is true. Like, you kind of see everybody bubbling up, everybody talking about different things and whatnot, so you kind of don't know where the motives lie. So, I mean, yeah, I, I could see that. I yeah, could see yeah. that. Some people misunderstand certain things or some people... You know, to throw little jabs here and there. So it's like, you know, you, re you got to read yeah. between the lines. And we're, we're, that's the issue with being miles apart, you know, not seeing each other face to face, not building with each other, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, but I, I bet you if you meet dude and everybody met everybody, everybody would be chill. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. But that's what I'm saying. It's just, you know, it's just sad. Like, you know, I, I hope this gets resolved. I hope that they, you know, everything just gets squashed and everybody just can just do what they do. Facts. B, B plus is very dope for CHHTS to stop through. Yeah, man, that's what it's about, man. We're open. That, that we're open for that. You it know, is, that's what it's all we, about. We don't see this more as a as a platform. This is, we we just this, discuss, man. This we is just, just friend, <laughs> this is a, a place you know, where friends can come together and just chill, no, talk. That's it, man. Just on the fly, just like what up? Oh yeah, you want to come? All right, let's talk about it. That's it for real, man. And that's I, all it is. Uh, eventually, at some point, we'll get to the point. Leave where all you the literally leave all that magic stuff to the to the celebrities, bro. That's not where we function in, bro. We yeah, don't man. function in that magical world behind the curtain. Please strip that. The curtain was broken in half. Stop that. Uh, <laughs> Kanye continues. Uh, he actually says, thank you for rapping on the Dr. Dre remix of Use This Gospel. Talking to Eminem. Adding M Eminem. Sorry, that was a tongue twister right there. <laughs> I'm gonna never have that's why I don't be minute. rapping like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's, why I, that's why I reside to feeling like grass. It's way easier to roll off the tongue. Yeah, yeah. You know? it's like poetic. <laughs> <laughs> Like very simple rhymes. you know what i'm saying but uh uh what do you say here i've always loved and respected you and i'm honored to have you bless the song it's also northwest's favorite, favorite kanye movie. west song of all time so hinting at eminem jumping on a remix to wow. a possible project that's supposed to be some sort of rollout to a possible upcoming album and a cinematographer kind of confirms that uh let me see if i got my info because i'm you know i'm a journalist now oh <laughs> The fact that you use that voice is nasty. Uh, Just so you know. Uh, this is from uh, uh, Jaffa Arthur, who filmed the new music video for the possible new album. He says, it's from this new record, Jaffa said, of the video they shot. It's called 
God's country. There was hint at, hints at God's country. We heard of that before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's just pretty much confirming it. Kanye West is probably just doing what he does, you know? This is part of the rollout. You know how he does. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, but it's pretty cool having Eminem hop on a dope. gospel track. Like, so then you have people who will go back to that whole argument. We ain't going to do it here. <laughs> this is just like yeah. episode two. <laughs> what? Don't do tracks Don't do tracks with the- <laughs> yeah, Don't like, do it. Let's, uh, I'm not going to go there, man. CHH has developed from that. I'm not saying good, bad. I'm just saying yeah. have your convictions, do your study, man. Dead, dead. We would just want to move on from there. Yep. Meanwhile, Justin Biebs. <laughs> the Biebs. The Biebster. Dro- drops, drops a, cri- a Christian, quote unquote, Christian song with Chance yeah. the Rapper. Did you hear it? Yeah. No, I, you, did, I didn't hear the song. But you I didn't hear the lot. song? How do you not it. hear the song, bro? Sorry, I haven't heard it yet. We got a podcast. I know. All right. And I haven't heard I it. I can't yet. even tell. I can't even ask you no questions about it. All right. So he goes on. So what, what did you think about it? I'll All right. I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I'll break it down. Uh, uh, Justin, you know, yeah, you know, know Justin Bieber. Uh, that's how I'm going to do I'm going to get old and just be I don't care about what you're talking about. Let's just have a conversation. Uh, where's my coffee? Uh, I'm going to have a dog. No marshmallows. You know, it's, I'm going to have an old, smelly dog. Like, ah, oh, my little, you know, in the, in the studio, in the podcast, in the beach house. You know, you know that's coming. Of course. You know that's coming. Uh, yeah. I'll probably have like a yeah, fire pit yeah, right over white, here in the back. The white beard, fire pit. You know, a little still stomach. talking about all the nonsense so like, the young whippersnappers random, are doing. Randomly saying, "He's oh, young whip." Oh, 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 wow! <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is this? The Puerto Rican Santa chilling in <laughs> chilling in PR. <laughs> the Puerto Rican Santa, oh, 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 oh. eating uh, empanadas. This is how we do over here. The Puerto Rican Santa. You don't want a Puerto Rican Santa. Uh, that dude ain't coming on the 25th. I tell you that right yeah, now. He ain't got a naughty list. He got the papao list. <laughs> he, Checking he, it he, twice. The Puerto Rican Santa sends the, the three kings. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> the Puerto Rican Santa even coming. He's like, yo, send the three kings on Jan- in January. I'll get to it when I get to it. Send them early. I'm eating empanadas. Uh, all right. <laughs> Justin Beeps. Empanadas. Drops a gospel track with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with uh, uh what's this dude's name uh chance the rapper yeah all right so the song itself is it sounds like it's called holy by mm-hmm. the way it sounds like he's talking to god almost like it's, it sounds like that but the, what, but actually Bieber is talking to yeah god? like he's saying hold the way you hold me something but it you, you see vi- mm. video clips of him and his girl like him and his girl so he's he's this yeah. worker at this um construction site or whatever what's he doing oil oil rig whatever he's doing right uh it shuts down uh, him and his girl like homeless now whatever and so every time he hints at hold me you're like you know yeah. the way you hold me is holy or something like that holy. it's always with her like hugging it yeah, the yeah. way you hold me is holy like wow and then Chance the Rapper comes in and then he says he's saying the way the girl holds I, him no, is I'm, holy? I'm not saying that I'm just That's saying nasty. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm saying when you see the video you, you, okay so it, I know mad people are gonna be like you messed up man that was stop doing yo you're foul man that, that was, was a dope Christian song I know they're gonna do that but go back and watch <laughs> it and you see it, the way you hold me is holy blah 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 and he's like hugging his girl I, that's what I saw right it, Chase the he, rapper didn't he just recently do a video for Drake where he was like giving the finger you can hate me if you want that's what I <laughs> why would you say oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it, would, it would be it would be what would it be ja 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would be J O. Ho 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 I was saying that because I'm like, he's gonna be on the beach with his oh, white man. beard, with a with a stomach. Yeah, I better not get no letter, bro. Like, <laughs> Jay, I better if I get a letter, I'm forwarding it to that's oh, not Christian podcast. All right, I'm forwarding it to them. Cease and desist. You had a representative I'm forwarding of it to your team. <laughs> false advertisement. Like, I got a dope legal team too. Here you go, Jay. <laughs> go handle that. Uh okay yeah so he's he's hugging up on his girl she holds him holy and then uh she chance holds the ra- him holy. chance the rapper comes in and then he sa- kind of says something about my father like you know he he kind of goes in like you yeah. know he goes in chance goes in he knows the word mm. you know i don't know to the extent of what he knows the word but he knows the we word. can't say he knows the word I, I, because don't, i don't know to we've the only extent. seen two videos of him reading scripture it doesn't mean he knows the word. All right, we I, need I, we I, need a little bit more evidence than two I, videos. Well, him reading scripture. Hey man, I gotta be. I'm the fair guy, so I'll, I'll balance out on the fair side. Like I don't know. <laughs> That's unfair. I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> that you're, he's obviously hey, well studied. We got a podcast. How do you know this? He I'm had okay two videos. Being, I'm okay with being reading with the Bible. That's all the evidence okay. I need, guys. I'm okay with it. You can rebuke me. Shoot, I'm a Berean. That's what we got. All I needed was, but in order to be a Berean, you got to ask the questions and fight back, right? (laughs) You got to, you know, it's it's 
It's the same thing, man. That's what the antivirus is, no? A fake version yep. of the virus in order to have your body well, produce the actual like, virus. They just modify no, no, no. It. They, it's not the actual one. Yeah, it's it's a fake. It's a fake virus. It's not. It's a genetically made virus. It's not a real virus. What do you mean? Like it's so coding. Like when you get vaccinated, it's yes, it's coding. It's a it's a it's a man made virus with the coding on the proteins. They they just they, they it's like it's a code. So it's like A B B C or whatever, and they figure out they predict what the code is going to be for that season and they make a fake man-made virus and they put it into you your body creates the the antibodies yes to attack what that is and that's how now your body is already ready to fight the virus that's what they do but it's not the actual virus it's a fake one that's how it works wow you know, you could have just easily said that they just inject the virus. <laughs> I don't know why we went there. Anyway, Justin <laughs> Biebs is, uh, <laughs> I guess we need antibodies for this. No. Uh, so what do you think? So Bill Nye, uh, the Puerto Rican So guy. you didn't even hear, you don't even know. Um, go check it out, I guess. I don't know. It's a, it's a talk. What do, I, what do we want to talk about this? I don't know. He holds, she holds him holy. People are saying, is this Christian? Bill Gates approves this is message. This, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're the truth. Yo, I work Switch at, in HD, I work at a truth. hospital, man. Like, that's what I heard. That's Fake I, viruses. That's this is deep. <laughs> that's what I overheard, all right? Yeah. Mario right now works for the hospital, so he's in the I Matrix. Get, I'm getting the inside scoop. I'm like, he's huh? in the Matrix. What'd you say? I'll be playing that game Half-Life with the yeah. virtual thing. I'm like, yo, we're not too far from this. <laughs> like, but the thing is that Mario doesn't virtual, know that he was talking, the virtual he was talking to the, the program, like, the computer yo, program. So they were like, Mr. Escobar. Fake virus? This is deep. What you're experiencing right, so, is actually a fake virus can we, because you're not really here. You're plugged yo, into the matrix. I'm sorry. Yo, B plus. Stop. So you just have the coding of the virus inside of you. Mr. And we, Anderson. It's Mr. Escobar. All right, What's bro. happening to you? So we don't care about Justin Bieber. <laughs> like, do, do we not care about this? All right, cool. Yeah. Let's jump to the next one. Get this dude up out of here. What do we got? <laughs> what's, this, what's next? Passion of the Christ sequel. Do you want to go there? What? Or do you want to keep keep hitting? There is no sequel. Oh, you want to go with Fauci? He died of the cross. You want to go with Fauci since we're talking about virus? <laughs> we almost up to what? 200,000 is what they say, but they ac- we don't know if it's accurate it's or not. It's actually 6%. So what, so what is it? Is it 200,000? We're climbing up no, to No, it's 200? actually 9 going on 10,000. People don't know that. Look up so, CDC. So this is, a, is this an ongoing fake news right in front of our face or what's well, going on? What's going on ongoing <laughs> is, is like... you can't say because they just released it. So, you know, they need time to process this data or whatever. Because, and the reason why I'm saying this is because they've been inflating the numbers saying it's 200,000, 200, 300,000 or whatever. And CDC released a report saying that 96% of those 280 something thousand died of two or more underlining issues. And only 6% out of that died of covid alone so six percent out of the two hundred eighty thousand ends up coming up to like almost ten thousand people that's not a pandemic because the flu took out Y'all way more than that some real stuff today <laughs> so, i'm just saying <laughs> look up the cdc report and it says it right on there uh, that it's virus. only six percent uh, of the two hundred and eighty. man we are killing now. this uh so, biden said 200 million lol 200 and, well six percent of 200 Ooh. million then even yeah. though I don't Preach believe it. in Biden. Shaba. <laughs> Shaba. Right, get, get this dude off. We got Yo, shout out to Ruslan. Yo, for real. Uh, hand class for Ruslan. Few things, man. Ruslan, first of all, respect to Ruslan. He's, he's killing it, bro. All right, let's check this video out real quick. Well, I'm not doing all that. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, if my, wife, would, wa- if my wife was it, watching, she probably like, just became a fan because we just put Will Smith on. You know, if I let the young boy have his shine. You so know dope. What I mean? Check this out. It's a breeze, boy, I told you. It's a breeze. Hey. It's a breeze, boy, I told you. It's a breeze. Give it, Will. It's a breeze, boy, I told you. It's a breeze. Now, watch, watch him come on the verse. Watch him come on the verse. Son on Jill, dad. Paulie sent me what he sent me thinking he go first. Hey, shout out to Rooslaw, like brother. My ego worse. Cause this is breeze, do it for the cheese. Make you freeze like watching your first California burrito burst. <laughs> That's what's up. Will Smith and, and Jason Derulo use Breeze by Paul Russell and Ruslan and Ladies Vlog. Yeah, yo. Uh, Ruslan be, uh, is sure to give shout out to Music Bed for assisting with the placement. Yep. He also has a YouTube talking about how he got the license deal. And Ruslan's always one to share a lot of gems. Uh, he makes, uh, when it comes to gems, he makes this show look. Uh, 
Like, uh, like, why are you even here? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 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 But we hit it. It's like, we, it's like, it's like he's the Starbucks and we the Dunkin' Donuts. Oh wow, thank you, know you bro. Saying? Yeah. As uh, far as information. So go check it out, man. Weak on Rus- sauce. channel, man. <laughs> We're always trying to steal gems from him. Try to transition over here. He knows what's up, man. Yeah, I love man. him. He knows what's up. Love you, Ruslan. And I love your uh, right hand man too. That's not Christian. Said, did somebody say Fauci? <laughs> uh, Ruslan interview. I don't know if you guys missed this or what with KB. Yeah, I sadly missed it. But and I, I mean Hudson the clips. Um, Crazy. yo. That was super, dude. I was like, literally, like walking a trail with my little ones, and I'm like, ah, oh, this dude's going live right now with KB, and I'm like, and I know this dude be doing it. He be stripping his content off afterwards. Yeah. Like he'd be like, a oh, word, you want all these gems? Nah. And then he just be hoarding them for himself, and you got to pay for it. So he's like, <laughs> he's like, he give you no, nah, but he give you the free ones for the live. So I'm like, yo, let me not miss out. I jump in. I'm listening, walking with my little ones in the woods. Getting lost, walking in the. I'm like in the in the lake. I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> My kids are still behind me in the woods somewhere. No, nah. so why I'm, were you in the woods? <laughs> no, nah, I went on the trail. I went on like hiking. And I was like, oh, oh. I was like, hold on, Ruslan, it's live. <laughs> Walk off a cliff. Ah, uh, no, <laughs> yo, stop laughing. Yo, uh, super dope, super dope. And then uh, your kids KB. see you splat. Dad's Amazing. They it. talk about they talk about ministry versus business. Um, KB is super balanced with business um, uh, strategies in the music industry, but he's also uh, very serious about up. his walk with the Lord. And so he had the biblical, you know, practical advice, you know, and th- and then he also had the the practical advice in the business aspect. You got Ruslan, who's all about that entrepreneurial spirit and and sharing that. Inf- it was. It was just phenomenal, phenomenal, bro. It like was. for me, it was like, yo, hands down, this is the best informative uh, Christian hip hop video out I've ever seen myself. Like I, I don't know, maybe I don't see no. everything, but I've only seen two. I clips, keep my ear to the streets, and, and both I'm like, clips were mind boggling. Wow. Like amount of information, like conviction, um, you know, perspective. You know, he gave a a perspective that I never really thought of in that in depth way. Uh, like regarding ministry, regarding the desire you have to minister with it, whether it's your voice, whether it's your, you know, <clears throat> a, a talent that you have, an ability. Yeah. And serving God mm. is is more than just something that you should strive for, Facts. but actually an obligation. Mm. You know, I never looked at it in that way. So when he explained it, dude, like, it was it was you like, have an obligation. It almost, yo, real like, talk, yo. real talk, it made me feel embarrassed. I put it like, and, and yo, on the show, we real, we keep it real, a hundred. I don't even care. But it, it, in a way, I was like, dang. Like, I was like, yo, these dudes are killing it, man. I'm ashamed, man. I got to step it no, up, dude. Real. I'm like, yo, these dudes are like, because at first, like, you remember the Lord crushed the ambition. You yeah. know what I mean? And we talk about that on the show. This is hey, kind of like look, a documented not, journey of but our walk quick, as creatives. If there's anybody that's new that's listening, I don't, when you hear the words, God crushed our ambition. It doesn't mean that we don't have an ambition to continue to create and continue to Facts. do things. That was the, the ambition that he's talking about is yeah. was the ambition the for the, the fame and, and uh, just get this bag. Monopolizing, you know, conquer, forget about, get the bag. Yeah, forget about you know Warrior serving spirit. the people. We just, <laughs> just want to get this just money. Win. You know? Just win so at all costs. That ambition died. It's like a Spartan you know? warrior. Like, ah, like, man, man. so but tone it down. There's a uh, story about uh, David, right? Where David is like, you know, he's, he's, he's forming his crew. Everybody's adding to him before he becomes like official king, right? This is where David's running for his, to save his life. And Saul is chasing after him, right? Uh, this is right after, like, the beef was squashed. You know, he showed him the piece of the robe and he said, here you go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't kill you. And then and then Saul actually praised God and was like, oh my goodness, you spared me. Dope. Peace was made. They went their separate ways. Yep. And as you continue to the story, David comes across this rich man's field and he sends his servant up ahead and he says, tell dude to give us, you know, we come for the feast. Like we're coming. We we have peace with your people. We didn't go after your people. Go tell them we're coming, man. Get, get a feast ready. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's yep. a rich dude. 3,000 sheep, you know, 1,000 goats, whatever it was. Dude's a rich man. The servants catch up to him, tell him what's up. And the dude's like, who's this David? Get out of here. Like kick rocks kind of thing. Drunkard dude, sinner, you know, abusive man, doesn't care, selfish, rich, filthy rich. 
wife hit yo when it got back to david here i am telling my kids like you see what do you think david's gonna do you know like i'm like oh this yeah, is he's great gonna be the hero he's gonna the be the, yeah yeah I'm like what do you think david's gonna do a christian reacts this way right so i continue reading and then the, the messengers get back to david and, and, and they say hey david he said no immediately david draws his sword <laughs> He tells his boys, yo, everybody, grab your weapons. Like, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm reading to my kids, like, hold up, David. What you doing? What you? And I'm like sweating, like, wait a minute. You tell your kids. Uh, so, th- hold um, up, kids, hold this up. is where Jesus, hold I mean, I'm David. David got gangster. Yo, um, David, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to read this to my children he, right now, man. He got gangster You're in the name of Jesus. telling everybody to draw their swords. Uh, so, 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 as they go on their way to, and yo, David's prepared to wipe everybody out. Every, servants, every, everyone's gone. I'm going to take your stuff, plenty of your stuff, everybody's gone. Wifey of, of, of uh, the rich man heard of that D- David was on his way. She hurried up, get, got some goats, got some food, got a whole bunch of supplies and everything, and be like, send off servants up ahead. Eventually got to David, bowed down and was like, listen, my, my husband's, he's stupid. He don't know what he's doing. He's a drunkard. He's always been this way. Please forgive him. And she goes off and, and kind of like talks some reason into him saying, you forgive him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't have that blood guilt on you, please. Before, you know, so David, the way he responded was super dope, man. And I was like, praise God. <laughs> David was like, <laughs> the Lord sent you today to prevent me from blood guilt. The Lord prevented him from taking that step that he was about to commit to go and, and wipe out these people, man. He forgave him. And I believe it was 10 days later after that, everything was squashed. He left. He went his way. He parted his way. Nothing was touched. Everything was good. 10 days later, the Bible says that, that God touched that man and he died. God is your vengeance. No, but I know for a fact when his you know wife came back and was just like, yo, you ain't going to believe this. David came over here and he was going to murk you. <laughs> you better praise yo, to the you Lord better. <laughs> that I went out there and gave him whatever we had. Oh, uh, man. But yeah, man. So I don't know even know why I went off on that tangent, but hopefully it blessed somebody. <laughs> <I don't know>. The <laughs> word does not go void. Why. How about that? Huh? <laughs> Let's stand uh, on that. Praise we, the we, Lord. We were talking, we were talking about Ruslan. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We, oh, we were talking man. about, uh, you know, talents. And uh, now nah, I lost it too. Man. Yeah. All right. So um, <laughs> shout out to KB too, man. If you guys don't know, he has his own podcast as well. He's killing it too. Look at his podcast, Yo, man. It makes us look silly, crazy. bro. Look at him. I'm not going to lie, I KB. I unfriend people for sure. I think I'm going to take that, those likes you don't, you don't DM the me back. this I'm gonna picture. I'm going to take that idea. What's wrong man? with you? That's how you get unfriended yeah. real quick. Yeah, man. <laughs> No, beautiful I'm kidding. podcast. I, <laughs> beautiful. But, but, like, no, but you know what? Because <laughs> Yo. I love you in Jesus' name, but at the same time, I got to do this face right this here. Is, this is Southside Rabbi Podcast. That's, that's a just beautiful set. Beautiful. Man. KB with uh, Akeem Hudson. Shout out to them, man. They dropping gems over there all day, too. As I'm going to well. take that idea. We're going to have them lights. Uh, them, them colored uh, beam lights. Super dope. You might see them right here. Super just dope. Just calling it. Uh, let's see Chance kind of goes off uh, What does he say I don't even care about that What else we got I don't <clears> even <throat> care about that You said Fauci uh, Passion of the Christ sequel Yeah man Let's talk about that Passion of the, si- the Christ sequel Also oh, are they Are they gonna go from Now him appearing To the disciples Like you know what I'm saying And, and eventually ascending Like that's how the movie Will end Him ascending uh, I think because, I, mean, I think it's when uh, There really it, isn't it, no I prequel think... After he is uh, you know, died and so this is what I got here. Um, went with I don't him. even know how you say this dude's name. Bre- Brer Bart. Where? What is his name? Charles. The, the actor. All right, <laughs> the actor who plays in this film yeah. confirmed the status of the sequel. Mel Gibson just sent me the third picture, the third draft. It's coming. The actor said it's called The Passion of the Christ Resurrection. It's going to be the biggest film in the world. Uh, another interesting point noted by Looper is that the film could cause could become cause for controversy in how it handles the days leading up to the. Uh, the resurrection while Catholics like Gibson himself believe that Jesus spent three days before coming back to life preaching in hell. Evangelicals don't believe Jesus spent his days chatting with Satan. So they're saying that, you know, they're going to do that. They're saying that he might take some kind of weird spin with this. They don't know. Yeah. He's going to go to hell. That's I can call it right now. You know why? Because it's good TV. It's it's like oh Jesus, Jesus goes went to, to hell. hell? Like, that's what just, is that? On, that's like, like a cheap horror film. Like what? What are we doing now? Like no. that's you know what I mean. No, like that's man, just that's, that, that's automatic. That's People are gonna take buy Come tickets. On. You know what I mean? They they unless I'll be shocked. I mean, if you spin if it don't. like that, because honestly, God is in hell, right? 
hell is not hell without God present. No, facts. Ooh, we get but what I'm saying theology. is, yeah, but this is different. We They're saying that when theology. Jesus left the cross, hell is hell because God is there. You facts. understand? <laughs> yeah, but that's still not the same you know story. Right. It's not that Jesus went down to get the keys of the hell from the devil. and he had Oh, you mean like some kind of Hollywood? You know, yeah, and that's what they're going to do. Nah. They're going to have some like Gibson, epic bro. kung fu fight with him fighting the devil, and they're going to be doing like It Man. No, moves. this Mel Gibson, I think that he done. He's going to Hollywood. I think he it. did a good job with the passion the of the first Christ. one. Yeah, but now he's you getting the that, second one, and he's going to. Bro, you know, he's. Mel Gibson is not that kind of dude, I bro. Know. I mean, I'm exaggerating with the Ip Man fighting, but I'm just <laughs> saying, you know they're going to go down the exaggerated route of him going to hell. I don't think so. He's Catholic, and that's what they believe. I don't think so. I think he's going to stick with the scriptures. I, I, that's my take. I think he's going to I think he's gonna continue with the story of the disciples. If, if it's super dope, like if I was him, I would just start with uh, Christ ascend, ascended. He's gone. Just start there. Leave a little, little, leave a little gap in between, and like do one of those. What do you mean start? Like start the movie with him. Start ascending? the movie with him gone, and then the whole, the rest of the movie is just the. Disciples? Yo, start with the day of Pentecost. Start with the day of Pentecost. Ooh. That would be. Imagine you just start with the crazy madness of Pentecost. Yeah, that's crazy. And start then, with that, and they explain it, and then the, yeah, and then to like unfold that whole beginning of the church, right, and then leave that gap. And they do the like, intentionally the as soon as they do the the tongues and all the craziness, then they, they go. One thousand. Every time we do this, they take later. our ideas, and I hate it, man. Because everybody blows up. With, <laughs> we got that's not pre- Christian podcast. <laughs> I'm still well, taking credit well, for that. Well, we well, got the crew. I'm gonna take credit what for all I'm of saying them. Is like, we got Ruslan. Somehow, like, <laughs> somehow SpongeBob is. In I I started all these. No? <laughs> I started all these. We have Stephen Malcolm. I started that. No, no. <laughs> somehow I just start rappers' names. Yeah. No, but go ahead, man. Go, I'm sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> did I, I did I don't mess remember. you up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, I don't even wouldn't remember. it be dope to start with Pentecost, leave that gap, and then come back and then cause people? Oh, to be now like, I remember. Yo. So everybody goes into Pentecost and they're like, three months later, and then <laughs> no, like, now just... the movie starts and they explain everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tweeting Mel Gibson your ideas now, Josh. Stop. Tweeting your... <laughs> Satan with the dead. What did it say? Say start with the dead in Christ rising. Mm, Ooh, that'd wow, that'd be crazy. Can you imagine that? Like, ah, I don't want to say this. Ah, see, it's getting late. We over our time. I'm going to start, you know I'm gonna crazy start pill- if they spilling did, all the beats, man. I'm getting tired. You know and I'm gonna just start Even though this wouldn't be factual. Intellectual property. They will probably. <laughs> they will probably <laughs> this is a, just a thing of me leaking intellectual property. Like, <laughs> you, you know how they do like spinoffs? Yeah. It would be sick if they followed the life of the guy, the criminal. That ends up being Ooh, next to Christ. Didn't they do that? I thought they did that. I no, think there's an old film. A like movie that. of just about him. I think there's a fi- old film on that. I never heard of it. I think so. I'm about to say that would be sick. A completely different perspective. This dude living his life of crime and all this stuff that he did or whatever, then leading up to him being next to Jesus Christ. You like, could do so many things, bro. You could do so. You could do the soldier's perspective. You could do Pontius Pilate's Facts. perspective. You could do Pontius Pilate's wife's perspective. You could. Yeah. You could do Matt. What about a secret character that nobody knows about, and then you kind of like make it you. It could be like one this of those vicarious could be one characters of those weird, who's been watching the whole those, time. One of those weird European films, and it's the tree. <laughs> what? The, what's it? And you they just cut the tree down and they make totally it into the cross, and they find they follow the Gilwood cross. Passion all the way. prequels. <laughs> Gilwad's passion prequels. They, they, follow, yeah. they start with the tree that they use to crucify God. Like you know, they just follow the tree. When does it start you know, becoming like nah, man? Like you know what I mean? Like because people have people have problems with him making millions off of this. So when does it become like yo, you're kind of like exploiting off faith? Does it ever become that? Or is it like, nah, Mel, well, keep doing I mean, your thing. Think you're, of it like this. You're a millionaire. If I had you a got choice, the money. If I had a choice to stuff. watch a dope movie in the movie theaters that was a biblical one or some action pack that had no sense that it was just about death and violence, I'd rather watch the Christian one because there's dope action in the Bible too. Yeah, but then there's so, also those Christian ones where they go totally left and they become like... Uh, well, that's the problem is the, when the they Hobbit. go left. But if they actually <laughs> like, do how did movie, goblins get up in there? Like, no, if they did an actual... <laughs> like, yo, why is it goblins? If they did an accurate biblical movie of like uh, uh, Samson, that would be they one tried. of the most fun. They, they tried. tried. They but tried. that's why I said if they did an actually with that, with that biblical version of Samson. Did you not biblical. like the Samson one? <laughs> nah, man. They missed a lot of stuff. They why, took out man? a lot of was, stuff. Like, you know, he's a big jack. You know? But I, the donkey, the donkey jaw scene, down. that part was fire. The donkey jaw scene? It, like, it, it, it had the feel of like a YouTube fan made. It did. 
I know they I they did that there, but and then yeah, they tried yeah, again yeah. with Noah, and they made him like some glad. He, I felt like at one point in the movie he was gonna be like, "Are you not entertained?" <laughs> like he was jacked. He was supposed to be old. Like you know, he was like a young version of Noah's. Like didn't they the do one of Moses too? They did one. I didn't even watch it, bro. The one with um this dude uh. The guy who played um, but there was Batman. Me. The guy who played Batman. Of course. They had to make all of them look like superheroes. What's his name? The guy who played Batman. The guy who played Batman. The guy who played the gladiator. You know. They that was horrible. <laughs> Frankie says that was. Yeah, word, bro. It's all superheroes. It's I like, like Mel Gibson movies because Jesus wants to. What? Wasn't taking. Wasn't talking in the KVG. Oh, okay. Gotcha. My bad. Trying to, trying to follow, man. You have all kinds of. <laughs> all right. So Jesus wasn't talking in the KVG. KJV. The King James version, man. Yeah. You could, you could just Sorry. say King, King James. James. All right. Yeah. Are you King James only, Jay? Oh, he, he, must, he must be one of them purists. He's King James only? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, red letter only? <laughs> oh, red or, letter or Paul, only. Pauline letters only? <laughs> or all, ESV all the or that just stand NVJ or on, on just these little sections and bits and pieces. Yo, I'm in Exodus right now. I'm in Exodus 27 where we're going in deep on like the, the making of the ark and all this gold and this and the wood and the sun. And I'm like, what in the world, bro? And I'm trying to, I'm like, I know this is the word of God. I know everything. You know what I mean? Like this, I can't just bypass. This is, it's just written. Let me Facts. just go through. Let me see what this is. It's written for. And reason. what I saw was just maybe this. You know, you got to have some discernment there. But what, what I'm seeing is just like the all the details. Yeah. <laughs> like like God is a God who plans down to the details, to the fabric, to the this, to the that. And yeah. then I listen to sermon on it, and it's like wow. Like look at look at what oh, it he said. ESV. What do you say? He nah, I read ESV. I'm just saying Jesus was wasn't saying thee thou art. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah I, I understand what you're saying. Sounds fancy nope. though. Like you the in your mind, art. in your mind, you kind of want. I'm original. Like <laughs> Josh says I'm original scrolls only. <laughs> I'm original. <laughs> Good luck with those. I don't think we even got them. Do the Catholics got them? Uh, <laughs> Josh would the be Catholic. that one dude in the back that goes. The Catholics got them. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> oh, you're a King James. Hmm, I'm a Moses. <laughs> This is like pen signed by Moses. I'm Paul's original writings. I have the original tablets. No. <laughs> the original tablets. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, what, what else we got, man? Where are we going to go from here, dude? It's done. It's time. Is it? Whoa. It's, it's way past our bedtime. <laughs> That's crazy. Past our bedtime. <laughs> yes. That's definitely the name of the show. Past our bedtime. <laughs> hey. I want get MC Goya to call them. Call who? I want MC Goya to call. Yo, I want MC Goya to call us too, man. All to call us? If you say I would us, love that would for MC Goya to call us, bro. We need to have a number that we give to people. I know. We're working them. on that, actually. We're working on a number that you that can call in um, so you guys can, like, you know. I could hear MC Goya Join us and say, what's up? Like, why you guys don't have like me that? as Make a guest? Like you guys are not even a real show. That's why nobody watches. <laughs> I uh, I got Goya in the house. I got to edit. It was dope. Uh, you know, surprise visit by uh, that's not Christian podcast. Our brother Jay, we love you. Shout out to them again. Yo, dope having real, five man. on Craig James. Be sure to check out his his upcoming project. Yo, definitely, yo, you guys follow them. Uh, that's not Christian. Dope podcast. You know what I mean. Make sure you show Facts. love. Jay, don't forget me when you don't blow up because that's just that's just the <laughs> Lord just crushing me. You know, like he's Yo, just showing me. He's just like. <laughs> He's like, you, you will know, never like, blow. You are, but you will help many others die. before you. He's like, you are stubborn as an ox. That needs to die in you. <laughs> All right, Lord, I hear you. It's like, your curse. <laughs> <not."> <laughs> why, why are we making yo, God sound yo. like an like a, like a Asian <laughs> scroll? Of, uh, <laughs> you yo, will never I'm gonna get that. Truth. I'm going to get that email, like the dude with the bag on my dying bed. Like, it's just like, <laughs> he's going to be like, hey, do you want to join me for... It's like the price I've been waiting for. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, Many <laughs> podcasts will Die flow itself. through you. Ah, but that's... you will never be one. <laughs> All right, y'all. Till next week. We love y'all. Grace and peace. Peace. If you're listening to the podcast, be sure to check out my Facebook music page, Mario Esco One. Again, two R's in my name, the number one at the end, Mario Esco One. Be sure to like and follow that page because I like to give updates on who I'll be interviewing and leave a description on what we'll be talking about. And I also like the real time one on one back and forth interaction. If you don't have the time to join us on Facebook Live, be sure to check out my podcast. It's called Mario Esco Live. Two R's in my name. Again, you'll see the white silhouette of myself with the cross underneath. Be 
be sure to subscribe to that and follow the link as well to whatever podcast you're using or wh- however you're receiving the podcast and leave us a review we love to hear feedback you can also hit me up at music at marioesco.com and just hit me up with some feedback and ways that we can improve the show or the things that you like and enjoy any type of feedback will be highly appreciated grace and peace Thank you.